the video. Okay, I want to just read this off for everyone that's in here real quick. I did the math because I was listening to the athletic football show, which I never really, I never listened to, and they were talking about defensive players. And the main host guy said, not verbatim, but basically said, I think you know, snap for snap, play for play, down in and down out. Miles Garrett is the best defensive player and makes the biggest difference on the field. And I was like, that just doesn't. And I mean, again, I'm a huge TJ Watt stan, evangelist, apologist, but I just, it's, it's, I hate seeing injustice. And the fact that he hasn't won two already defensive player of the years is crazy. And they're about to try to rob him of a third. And he can't even do anything about it because he's been hurt. Listen to these numbers this guy has done this season. Okay. I did, I put together all of their defensive plays, Miles Garrett's and TJ Watts. Now, what did I do? That's basically all their actual plays. So that's sacks, tackles, tackles for loss, quarterback hits, pass deflections, forced fumbles, fumble recoveries, and touchdowns and safeties. Plus, I went to PFF and got all their pressures, okay? So I have all their pressures as one point, and I have all their actual defensive plays, stats, as one point. Through the season, Watt has 158 total defensive plays, okay? Garrett has 171. Now let's go snap for snap. Watt has played 536 snaps. He's been injured multiple times. He's missed full games, okay? Garrett has played 655 snaps. So you just do the math. Let's just divide them. 29% of the time that T.J. Watt is on the field, he is affecting the ball of the quarterback. 26% of the time, Miles Garrett is on the field, he is. So literally, snap for snap, if you literally want to just take it down to raw numbers, and that's even with the pressures, which Garrett does have a lot more pressures, but he's also played a lot more snaps, he still can't even put up the kind of production that T.J. Watt puts up. And the, the thing that annoys me so much is, on the same podcast, they spent three to five minutes talking about Frank Clark, the literal fucking definition of a replacement-level pass rusher in the NFL. They spent time talking about him. They mentioned T.J. Watt only in passing, and they talk about how Miles Garrett is so amazing and he's having this great year and he's the obvious front runner because he makes the most difference snap in and snap out. It's uniformly false. Do the math, okay? And not only that, there's no context around TJ Watt's season. The fact that he is leading the NFL in sacks, 16 over Miles Garrett's 15, playing 100 plus fewer snaps, missing games, being injured. It's unfucking real. It's disrespectful and it pisses me the fuck off. So there is my, I mean, I feel like this is the third year I've had to do this because NFL media literally cannot stop choking on certain players. You know what? Aaron Donald. And they're still trying to bring Aaron Donald's name up into the conversation as, early, as middle as last week. Aaron Donald's having a terrible year for Aaron Donald standards, let alone compared to everybody else. And they already were exalting what he was doing beyond what it should have been. It just, it drives me nuts. And right now TJ Watt, like, it, what he's doing is unreal, and it's not even getting noticed because he's not Miles Garrett, because he's not T.J. Watt, because the NFL media's favorite thing to do is giggle and laugh at how bad the Steelers look in Big Ben's noodle arm and be professional O-line touts and all this fucking bullshit. Pisses me off. Pisses me off. And the other thing that pissed me off about all this, and I'm just going to finish this rant off strong, the issue with T.J. Watt is he's already like 26, 27 years old. People, came, when he came in the league, we knew he was deserving of a defensive player of the year. We said that's a defensive player of the year caliber player. He'll get his eventually. The thing is, the guy hasn't. He's already been robbed three times. What more does he have to do? We're getting to the point in his career where he might go without one, and that would be, an, that would be a devastating and a shameful thing to, for him to come out of his career with zero, deserving multiple. Because because what? Because we got a giggle at the Steelers, at Big Ben, get sacked a lot. Because we got to make fun of Chase Claypool. I mean, it just it, it drives me nuts. And if you are in and around NFL media enough and listen to it a lot, you know what I'm talking about. Certain teams, certain people drive certain narratives, and it ends up actually affecting the people on the field. And it ends up affecting what happens, the outcome of seasons, the outcome of what guys get paid, where they go, et cetera. Um, so I got to stand. I got to stand because not many people are willing to stand up in the face of every other person loving Miles Garrett, every other person loving Aaron Donald and looking at the actual facts, looking at the context, zooming out a little bit and saying, why is this not being talked about more? Why isn't it? And seeing, oh, OK, it's not because the numbers aren't there. There's more going on. So 
that'll bring it to the forefront. TJ Watt, Defensive Player of the Year. Go look at the numbers. Whoever that guy is on the athletic, go do your math again. In threat. Okay, I I appreciate you getting all that out. Is that I have to, bro. Or I have you? to. It drives me nuts because I knew they were. Gonna, I mean, it's like it's the same old song and dance, and, it, and all the auxiliary reasons are there. Oh, big Ben Noodle Arm. You know, it's just the same. <laughs> it's the same crap. They can't say anything positive about you know what's happening. And the fact, and they want to make a big oh, deal about Jonathan Taylor's, you know, walk-off run last night to win that game. T.J. Watt, again, injured, has, has, mo- has had multiple walk-off sacks to end games for the Steelers. They had to win. Barely gets talked about. Okay. They're in a playoff hunt right now. It ain't because Big Ben. <clears throat> it ain't because any of their receivers. It's because T.J. Watt. Playing injured. Highest paid defensive player in the league. There's so many ways you could spin this positively. Wow, he's earning his money. Wow, this was a huge signing for them. Wow, he's winning them games. Nope. Big Ben Noodle Arm, offensive <laughs> line, LOL. Miles Garrett, goat. Haha, ha, look, his arms are big. Just, it fucking drives me nuts. Go Steelers. Thank you. That was, I'm proud of you for saying all that. Woo! Good Lord. Need a, need a breath for a minute? I got some things to catch up on. I could keep going.